three men to the right side on second and six. Shotgun snap to Mahomes, eluding the pressure right. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 15 yards on the play, first down. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. They go play action. Now Mahomes rolling to his left. Hill, he's got it. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 49 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. I think you can make a fair case for Tyreek Hill being the most explosive player in the NFL when he gets his hands on the football, and that was exhibit A. Well, this league with coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff. They have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go along. Go get it, big man. At his top speed, according to Next Gen Stats, well, really, it's it's ridiculous, impossible, whatever you want to call it, 22.6 miles per hour. with a sack there. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback. But as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. Gets this one to Hill. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. Now a play fake here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. That one complete to Hill. That he will take it all in for the Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. And all the Chiefs have it. Well, there you go. Just your everyday leading big, and you onside kick it with the lead. They got it. I mean, it worked, but interesting call. I think because they have such a margin, they feel a little bit bolder about what they're doing. And it's not only just to try and increase their lead, but that's their way of saying we're in full control of this game, and we can kind of do what we want. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. Mahomes again here on second and ten. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Throwing is Mahomes on third. Flush to his right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Rashawn Gary 
able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. Mahomes and the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Here we go, fourth down, Mahomes escaping the pressure right. And going deep for Hill. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And that will force a turnover on downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 15 yards there on the play as they try to chip away at this 15-point deficit. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On second down, it's Jones. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay nine-yard touchdown run and the Packers get a score closer a solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown yeah some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert I used to have a coach who called it marrying up meaning when you get on a guy you just stay right there each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone They're going to run for it with Jones. And he will find the end zone again. So he gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion. And that'll cut this deficit down a little bit further. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down caused all of that. Caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in He rifles one that's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Come and get him. Come and get him. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Now 
Rodgers. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. from the gun, Rodgers. And Adams has it, complete. And he's gonna have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. They'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Jamal Williams, 29 yards. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He could see the play developing right in front of him. And once he's past the line of scrimmage and got a full head of steam behind him, he's just going to keep right on going. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team because, hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Here's me, Cole Hardman. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. At their own 35-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And last time, one play interception, so this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play caller because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. Flushed out right. 20! That's to his running back, Edwards Alaire. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Jair Alexander that time able to knock that one away. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Buying time to his left. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. 
And now the third down throw incomplete as well. well. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. The CD, I mean, there are touchdown runs, and then there are touchdown runs, and that one certainly fell into the latter category, and that deserves a couple exclamation points. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. On second and goal, here's the option. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. With the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. Kansas City defense, tough to throw on there. And now it's fourth down. Well, Brandon, we see why it's a team game there because there's a sign of relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, that's likely a touchdown. But instead, that pressure from the front got to him and forced the incompletion. You're right. He had him open just a split second too late on the release. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. So on now for the Packers at their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. And the 13-year man puts it through. And that'll move their lead up to four now. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep route, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, it's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. First and ten, here's Mahomes being chased out left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and then will be second down. Will Redmond up to make the tackle. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Flush to his right. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. 
Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. Well, the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. First and goal at the one-yard line. They'll try and get it in with Sherman, the fullback. And will take it on in for the Chiefs touchdown. Anthony Sherman as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. Andy Reid never one to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. Flushed out right. And that is caught for the two points. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. He's going to try and take off with it. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Well, they run the option on second down. Get this one across the 35. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A final shot before half for Rodgers. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. But gutsy call there. Yang's at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They're already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Rodgers now to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And the They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Jamal Williams 
His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers have retaken the lead. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And that one gives him a three-point lead. Makes the score. Packers 26. Chiefs 23. Mason Crosby to kick off for Green Bay. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 23-yard line. You call it? We call it, baby. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting him to shreds. First play of the drive is success. 19 yards. Out to his left. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Brings up second and five. From the 47, it's second and five. Mahomes going to throw. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 29 yard line. First and 10 at the 29 yard line. Mahomes now to throw. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down to about the 21 or 22. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Brings up second and three. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. He goes full extension, and he's got it. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. First and goal at the eight-yard line. Now Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Eight yards on the touchdown pass as his guys are able to regain the lead. Andy Reid never one to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole... There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Packers. Devontae Adams, 75 yards. As his guys have now moved out in front. 
And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation, knowing when it exists to go to it. They did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, give that water break and get on out there and play. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's <laughs> the simple, guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. Yeah, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off at the 36. And his crack. 